Fuck. Alan Dis went to uh, Kazia. Hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta speed run this shit. Go, 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 go. Where the fuck is Alan Dis? God damn it. Oh, did he actually go Kazuya? He did go Kazuya. Fuck. All right, I gotta DQ him. God damn it. Moderate. Um, Alan Dis. DQ. You went Kazuya, you get dq Sorry. Rules are rules, you went Kazuya. Okay, back to the set, finally. My gosh. Because Alan Dis legit went Kazuya. And now that he just kicked him and then realized that Kazuya was banned and then went Terry. I, I, I think if he didn't actually play Kazuya, it's fine. Alright, 88 to 60 here. Back hit a neutral air. Bad Badfish is doing a pretty good job at zoning out Ash Torque. Even though Ash Torque has a reflector, he still has to deal with Badfish's um, non projectile. So, reflector doesn't automatically win this one, even though it is a good um, tool. Badfish getting that grenade, though, that was a pretty good edge guard there. Because Pit has a pretty linear recovery once he runs out of jumps. So, once you're forced to go low, you're kind of just fucked. And Badfish realized that pretty well. Okay, Badfish not capitalizing off that bomb there. He's trying to zone him out, but Ash Torque finds his way in here. Ooh, grenade is a fuck off me option. However, Ash Torque is not scared. Ooh, no punish by Ash Torque on that get up attack. That was a risky play for Badfish, because get up attack is super laggy. Okay, okay. Up there, good fuck off me option. Badfish resets neutral. He gets mid center stage. But uh, Gray gets, sorry, you know, Ash Torque gets the down throw. Gray recovering though. He gets the neutral air, side B. Good reflection though. Bad side B there from uh, Ashtorak. You know that he's getting desperate now. Because I mean, whenever pit players go for those side Bs and go for those big plays, you know they're getting desperate for stocks here. And Gray, I, Gray has to realize that very soon. Because if he can realize that, he can just say, no, you're not going to close up my stock. Up smash, you're dead. Good game. Okay. That Ashtorak goes to the back. He does not get the stock. No spike either. Up air, not going to kill. Now, Gray has to be very careful here. If he can keep this stock, this is going to be really bad for Ash Torek. Good reversal in there. Okay, okay. Up smash to catch that side B. What a ballsy option from Badfish. But this man has no fear whatsoever. Ash Torek trying to get this ledge trap. But Badfish holds on strong. Calling out that shield drop with that, that, with that get up attack. What a chad option from Badfish. Oh my gosh. 88. He's trying to close it out with this ledge trap here. How will Ash Torque get around it? He does not. He Gray baits out the reflection. Back air not gonna kill though. Oh, good reflection from Ash Torque. He finally goes out the first stock, but Batfish has him in kill percent. This is dangerous territory for Ash Torque. Now Gray has to be very careful not to throw this game. It is still definitely throwable if you're not careful. And you know he's been fishing for the kill when he just stood there and tried to down smash. Up throw. Up air though, that's gonna do it for sure. And Gray dominates game one. I feel like Ash Torque was a little bit too um a little bit too heavy on the reflectors. Because me Gunner is a character where if you reflect his stuff, he can just go in and smack you because his reflected projectiles aren't actually that strong unless he's right next to you getting reflected. Yeah, he cheated one game. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Alan just cheated one game. And now he's mad. <laughs> You're gonna have to hold that, buddy. Good luck in losers. No, cheating is cheating. You didn't read the rules. Ready?
You had to click the box right away. <laughs> nope. Nope. All right. Yeah. And the man's begging to come back. Hail Ma. You picked Kazuya. And you didn't say anything and you actually played Kazuya. All right. Battlefield, I think, might be a better pick here. Because Battlefield, it'll be a little bit harder for Gray to be able to lob in those projectiles and pressure Ash Torque from above. Because those pl uh, those platforms will definitely protect him. This is a smart counter pick by Ash Torque right here. Okay, Nair, no forward air. Okay, okay. Yeah, Gray trying to slowly inch his way in, but Ash Torque is doing a pretty amazing job at playing shutdown and keeping the pressure on Gray. The thing is, is he isn't doing any like debilitating damage with his shutdown. You know, 55 is not that much damage when you're dealing with a character that deals a lot of damage really quick, like me, Gunner. So, I feel like his pressure, it, it just amounts to nothing whenever Gray figures it out. Like, you see that? Not, now his whole lead is gone, and now Gray figured out the way in. Not only do you have to know how to counterplay your opponent, you have to know how to destroy them off of it. And because he didn't figure out how to destroy him off of it, now he's lost his entire lead. Uh-oh, 126% here. Gray looking to close up the stock. He does not get the missile, but he is looking for the stock here. Up smash, not going to do it. 87 here. Ooh, up smash gonna catch very nice spacing by Ash Torek, just barely out of that bomb range. 138. Ooh, missile. No. Down and up smash, not gonna connect. Flashes down smash, but the up smash will catch that roll. Ash Torek got a little bit too scared there, and Badfish was ready to punish. Badfish looking for a way in. Ooh, Ash Torek tried to get the tried to get the corner pressure, but he just barely couldn't do it. 139, he's gotta close with the stock now. Otherwise, he's gonna be in real big trouble here. Ooh, amazing bomb placement by Gray. Just not letting Ash Torek get those F guards. I mean, Ash, Badfish is making it really, really difficult for Ash Torek here. Down smash though, very nice. Which round of loses top eight? Which round of loses top eight? Just look. <laughs> I'm I'm commentating right now. Good parry, down tilt, neutral air. Like you probably won't have to count past 10, bro. I, I know you can count that far. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna throw any more shade here. Forward throw into the neutral air. Okay, I said neutral B. Oh, good spike, and that's not gonna be it. Oh my god, Pit is leak as shit. <laughs> 40% here. Badfish looking for his combo start. He gets the down throw. I don't think he believed he got it, but he got it. He's like, pause there. 102 here. Badfish again looking for the opening right now. And Gray's just pressuring him with those um, with those arrows. It's very important that he doesn't let Gray just play his game with zoning. Because as you saw from game one, if you just let him play his game, you're not going to have a good time, right? Badfish just crushed him with the projectiles. So if you kind of shut him down with your arrows, since you can shoot them faster than Badfish can shoot, you, you can kind of stop him. Ooh, that was a bad dash attack. He got a little bit too greedy, and Badfish is ready to punish. When, when you start running from that far away, it's very obvious that you're trying to look for a burst option. Dash attack again, not going to kill. Ooh, Badfish just lobbing in those explosives, keeping uh, Ashtoric honest on how many arrows he can shoot. But now they got to close up the stock here, you know? Now those arrows aren't going to mean much at all unless he can co close up the stock off of them. So, so you know, he's got to figure out a way to capitalize here. 152, because if not, again, it's going to be like that stock one where where you can pressure him all you want, but if you can't get the kill, it doesn't mean anything. And that forward air will do it. Amazing opening finding from Ash Tarek here. He's starting to get the download now, and, and now Gray's got to gotta be on his toes here. Down throw, neutral air. Okay, okay. And there it is. 1-1 one, one here. Here we go. Last stock situation here. Alan, this is still begging me. Okay, okay. 65 to 34 right now. Ooh, good reflection on the bomb here. Badfish just really looking for his way in. You lost because you, your DI is immaculate. Uh, I don't think you know what immaculate means. <laughs> okay, okay. 114 to 34. Okay, okay. Let's see it. Good reflection. But now he's going to close with the stock here. And you know, Pit can close with the stock, but he really has to find that big opening. And, and finding it against Gray can be pretty difficult. But Ash Torek finds it nonetheless. That's not going to close it out, though. Good, um, 
It's a good thing that Gray knows to, to jump after that. It's, it, it really pains me to see people air dodge and just kill themselves. Down throw off right though will do it. And Ash Torek crushes game two. But now this is Gray's counter pick. And I, I feel like the, one of the main reasons why Ash Torek won that was because Battlefield was such a good stage against me, Gunner, whenever it's like stopping those projectile lobs. However, this is game three. Ooh, I actually, I'm gonna stream Anality versus Hungrybox after this, if he wins. Yeah, because I really want to see this. Okay, PS2. Okay, this is, this, this is definitely better of a stage for Gray. Because now there's not as much platform coverage, so now he can lob in those projectiles in a lot more spaces. So let's see what happens here. Gray has the, the, the stage advantage, but Ash Torque definitely got an awesome download on that game too. So this might be close here. Badfish getting an amazing punish there, 63%. Ooh, Nair not gonna do anything. He's gonna miss. Ash Torque misses up his juggle, but he gets the dash attack. He messes up his edge guard too. That down air can be pretty difficult to hit actually. It's not as easy as Zachary makes it look. Down throw into the forward air, 58. Good um, projectile from Gray, just really keeping Ash Torque as honest as possible. It's like not letting him get away with anything. 79 here. Good fuck off me with that back air. Ooh. Let's see, let's see. Side B. Oh, no punish. That's a huge mess up by Gray. And he tried to go for an up smash. But it, by that point, it was too late. And Ash Torque did, did get the punish. Okay, okay. Gray realizing that Ash Torque was playing reactive. So he, he picked up a uh, jump. Which is an unreactive option. Kind of. It's unreactable to the point where your opponent can do an option before you can react, but it is, like, you can actually react to, to the movement itself, obviously. Down throw up air will do it, though, and Ash Torque takes the first stock. Now, Badfish is not the most consistent player when closing out stocks, because he, if you notice, he's definitely looking for hard reads, and Ash Torque has been doing a lot better at not falling for those hard reads. However, Badfish did get that edge guard to be able to close that stock here. So let's see, two stocks apiece, 41 to three right now. Nair, oh, he's trying to go for it all, and he's still going for it, but, uh, but Gray barely gets around. Oh, does he get the reversal? No, he messed up his ledge trap, and Ash Torek gets his way back. Nair, no dash attack, good tech by Ash Torek. Gray should have just gone for the, um, the tech chase there. 28 to 62, but I feel like both these players are definitely feeling the pressure here. Just a little bit, 45 to 62. Ooh. Even though the gameplay looks very, um, very, like, kind of brain dead from an outside perspective, it's, it, 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 when you're playing this kind of matchup, it feels kind of like a chess game, where it's like, how do you play against your opponent's strengths, and how do you position yourself to, to take an advantage? It, it really does feel like a chess game, where every move really, really counts. It, it, it really isn't as brain dead as you think it is, I, I promise. Coming from the snake player, I know. 118 here. Amazing ledge shot by Gray. Gray just covering so many fucking options at the same time. Oh, Ashtork picked the wrong one again. Oh, he tries to go for the high recovery and Badfish misses his back air. That one is a free stock. But he gets the up smash. And now Ashtork is winner side stock here. Let's see if, if he can make a play here because he needs to bring this back now. 75% here. Actually, Gray is the most consistent player. Oh, what's good, Manly Man 69? How you how's it going? This man was too busy simping to, to play in Kukis 105. This man said, I'm gonna hang out with my fiance in, in, instead of playing Kukis 105. So fucking cringe, not gonna lie. And is he even following? Is he even following? No, he is not. Ah, look at that nerd in the fucking chat. Oh my god. Look at him. 
Oh, I can't believe it. Not following and too busy for the finale by simping. So fucking lame and cringe. All right, 113 to 81 here. Badfish just keeping up the pressure on these projectiles. Not letting Ashtoric find his kill option. Does he not know that fourth throw is really fucking strong? Okay, he does know that fourth throw is really fucking strong, but it didn't kill quite yet. 150. Maybe like two more pummels and that would have been it. But that is risky to go for. If your opponent has a good mash. Uh, Badger's still pressuring with those projectiles. Asteroid's gotta be careful. He does get the back hit down smash here. And here we go. Last stock situation. Bath is trying to pressure, but Asteroid is doing an amazing job at finding his way in. And now Gray is starting to have to play a little bit more close range here. But that's kind of what Asteroid wants right now. Because Asteroid definitely has a better boxing game than Gray. Ooh, except for the read game. The read game is fucking monstrous from Gray so far. But still, reads are, uh, reads are just guesses. At the end of the day, reads aren't guaranteed. 42, 53. Because Ashtork really cannot mess up many more times. He is getting that amazing edge guard, though. Ooh, what a sequence of edge guards. Barely misses it, but he gets the, the trap. Oh my gosh. Badfish is getting real desperate here. He's got to cool it down around the ledge. Oh, down such again. Here we go. Here we go. Holy shit. Oh, arrow, arrow. No two frame. Oh my god, he choked it. He had the stock there. Uh, Greg going back off stage again. That's a bold play. And the down and the up smash will hit. What an amazing call out on that jump in. And Ash Torque barely takes it. What an amazing comeback by the skin of his fucking teeth on game three. Wow. And bad fish miss input. Unfortunate. Ah. Sounds like a skill issue to me. Okay.